On the global stage, the battlefield is expanding, along with the needs to support multiple wars with no end in sight. In Ukraine, more than 20 months after being invaded by Russia, resources are dwindling. And a brand new war in the Middle East, as Israel seeks to destroy Hamas following the October 7th massacre, launching multiple attacks inside Gaza, where the terror group is based. Like Israel, Ukraine was the victim of an unprovoked attack by a repeat violent offender. Those battles front and center in Washington, with a push for Congress to approve a $105 billion aid package for Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, and also the border. This is all one fight. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin appearing together on Capitol Hill to make the case the actions taken by Washington now will determine the security of the world for generations to come. And only firm American leadership can ensure that tyrants and thugs and terrorists will, will ride are not emboldened to commit more aggression and more atrocities. More aggression, which they argue could lead to Russian President Putin going after a NATO country next, which would in turn draw the United States in. America does not have the luxury of burying our head in the sand or leaving our friends to fend for themselves. That largely bipartisan show of support stands in sharp contrast with the mindset on the other side of the Capitol. The Republican majority in the House has just put forth a standalone bill to provide aid to Israel. There, there are lots of things going on around the world uh, that we have to address, and we will. Uh, but right now, what's happening in Israel uh, takes the immediate attention, and I think we've got to separate that and get it through. That pushback against aiding Ukraine comes amid growing skepticism from Americans. An economist YouGov poll last month showing 52% of those surveyed said military aid to Ukraine should be stopped entirely. A mountain of challenges worldwide bringing increased pressure to Capitol Hill. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.